My dictionary describes the caveman as prehistoric man living in caves and man of violent impulses and passions. The caveman image is usually regarded with amusement, even affection. How many times have we seen the typical cartoon of the muscular and hairy troglodyte dragging his spouse along by the hair? The pop-eyed wife usually aglow in anticipation of her fate. That, perhaps, is where the joke ends. This film is concerned with modern cavemen, but we call them psychopaths, psychotics, disturbed persons, or in plainer terms, bullies, brutes. Sexual hang-ups, generally, result from a continuance into adult life of childhood imaginings of guilt or inferiority. Obviously, that's not the complete explanation. Genetic factors can contribute to a child's inability to grow out of parental holes. For example, it's believed that homosexual tendencies can be the result of chromosomal imbalances, but the brute syndrome is not likely to have a, an inborn factor. My problem, Mrs. Shepherd, is that although you have come to consult me, you are not, so far as I can see, in need of treatment. It's your husband who should be here. Oh, I know, I know, but well, how do I get him to come and see you? In public, when we're with people, he's, he's perfectly normal. He's charming, solicitous. Well, at home, too, most of the time, then suddenly, out of nowhere, he's... Yes. If I could find some way of convincing him, if only I could explain, prove to him that you could help him, us. Why do you think he does these things? What started him off? <laughs> if I could answer that in one session, I'd be out of business. Simplistic answers are boringly predictable. You've heard them all a hundred times. Getting even with mother, a child of a broken marriage, being raised in an institution, a throwback to toilet training. No, I'm sorry, these things are not that simple. Get him to come and see me.